What's up, everybody? It's me, your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. I'm here to bring you a message this uh, evening. Okay? It is currently 8.46 p.m. on September 2nd, 2024. It's Keanu Reeves' birthday, so happy birthday, Keanu Reeves. I'm a big fan of Neo. Breaking, breaking that matrix. Okay? We're breaking the matrix here. Zeros and ones, ones and zeros. Sentinels and Agent Smiths. Yeah, it's you know it it's 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 it was a really good. Uh, I heard conceptualization of what's you know of what's going on in this world. But thank you, Most High God, for bringing us here for this message. Uh, you know how you you know how you lay down for a nap and you wake up and you think it's morning. Yeah, that's what happened. So I woke up and I was like, oh, "Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. It's rising," and it was seven. It was seven o'clock in the morning, from what I thought, anyway. But it wasn't. It was seven in the evening, and it's still uh, Monday, the second. So I don't know. Maybe I time jumped about tomorrow. Maybe we're gonna see what tomorrow has to bring. Is it the new moon, Alexa? Is it the new moon? The next new moon is tonight at 8.55 p.m. By the way, you have a new notification. Do you want to hear it? Nope. That's what I thought. So, something very significant about this new moon. Because I woke up for it, uh, obviously. So, as always... I came, I saw, I conquered. No, I came, I saw, I left early. I swear the shirt should, the shirt should say. <laughs> I saw, I came, I left early. <laughs> That's what it should say, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this read so I give a clear and concise message to the collective. I'd also like to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all ear hustling demons go deaf. Okay, and I'd also like to do a return to sender ten times fold, guided with love and light, things that do not belong to the collective in me. So mode it be, so mode it be, so mode it be, and show it is. And make that from sources unknown and unknown. Put some haste behind it too. All right, so um, my hands are kind of dry, so let me just put some uh, Nivea on them. One second, please. Three o three on the clock. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I keep hearing songs like that, so. Uh, Drew Hill, they are from Pennsylvania, aren't they? Alexa, where's the music group Drew Hill from? Pennsylvania. The music group Drew Hill is from Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Okay. It was founded in the 1990s as 14K Harmony by childhood friends Tamir Ruffin. Mark Andrews, James Green, and Larry Anthony. The group's name, Drew Hill, is derived from the name of Andrews's childhood neighborhood in Baltimore. Okay, I guess I was wrong. All right, so let me get this other evil eye bracelet and... Based on your order history... Ah, ah, Alexa, hush. No problem. At any time, you can visit your cart at Amazon. Or... Alexa, stop. <laughs> Ain't nobody asked for that. <laughs> it's not the, you know, it's so funny because every time I'm always kind of like, it, it, it's not like I'm ordering anything weird. It's just telling everybody my business. <laughs> just mind your business. <laughs> just mind your business. I wish people would mind their business, okay? Like, seriously, mind your motherfucking business, okay? Gotta watch my mouth, because I'm going in the yellow. I mean, I'm not about to watch nothing. I'm not going to overdo it, but hell. So let's see. All right, so we are on the eve of the new moon. In four minutes, the new moon will be here in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, Alexa, tell me, tell me about the new moon. 
A new moon is a phase of the moon in which zero percent of the moon is illuminated. Girl, Alexa, time. stop. Godly. Okay. Let's just ask being co-pilot. All right, what is the spiritual significance of a new moon? The new moon holds profound spiritual significance across various cultures and spiritual practices. Here are some key aspects. So the new moon, new beginnings, a symbol of renewal. The new moon marks the start of a new lunar cycle, symbolizing a clean slate, okay? And the opportunity to set new intentions and goals. So set your, new, set your intentions and your goals. Manifestations is considered an ideal time for manifesting desires and planting seeds for future growth. Introspection and reflection, inner work. This phase encourages introspection and self-reflection, allowing individuals to connect with their inner selves and gain spiritual insights. Heightened intuition. Hell yeah. Many believe that intuition and spiritual awareness are heightened during the new moon, making it a powerful time for meditation and spiritual practices. Cultural significance, rituals and ceremonies, because you already know they, are, they, they, they got their robes. They hadn't already started probably a few days ago. Uh, but, you know, confirmation. Gen uh, not confirmation, but ninja. Various cultures perform rituals and ceremonies during the new moon to harness its energy for personal and communal growth. Do you have any specific rituals or practices you follow during the new moon? I think Copilot needs to just mind the business, okay? Be telling everybody your secrets now, okay? So, yeah, um, it's an extra, you know, during the full moons and, the, you know, these, these full moons and new moons and, uh, you know, eclipses and things like that. But moreover, specifically for full moons and new moons, uh, you know, psychic awareness is heightened. So... Yeah, um, I've been hearing a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've also uh, been getting quite a few downloads about, you know, my situation with the fam. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do, to be honest with you guys, uh, I just want it to be over. <laughs> like for real, I just want it to be over. You know what I'm saying? This cycle. So this, this hopefully, let, I, that's one of mine. To clean slate, symbolizing a clean slate. So maybe you're looking for a clean slate. Maybe somebody's looking for a clean slate. I know these karmics probably are looking for a clean slate. Okay. Um, so you know, I'm hoping that they that they do get a clean slate as well. Uh, a clean slate. If I hope they get a clean slate, I do. In hell, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm not here to judge anybody. Um, some of us are here to make judge to call judgment and cast judgments, but I don't know something about the clean slate here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I won't cry for you. Mm -mm. Twenty-two balance is being restored here, uh, possibly for a foundation or some type of stability here. Twenty-two breaks down to a four which talks about stability okay but I won't cry for you let's read it again here so this is the moon energy here uh, this is the acceptance stage so you know you again accepting things and just letting it go clean slate wiping your slate clean of whatever has been just muddying mudding muddying I heard muddying I don't know if that's a word muddying or just kind of like making things very kind of gross and icky and you know just on your slate maybe you got a lot on your slate clean slate really means just starting all over again and when you wipe a slate clean it's 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 like it's like cleaning your plate and cleaning your plate off into the trash you don't go back in there digging up things that you wiped off your plate it's a clean plate just wash it and whatever's in the trash just tie it up take it out and throw it away don't don't go don't go back and don't go back and digging into things is what i just heard all right sometimes when it's over closure must be created not just found so again i what i get from that statement is sometimes when it's over closure must be created not just found we look we look for, for closure when we already can we can close out cycles for ourselves you know what I'm saying so I just want it to be over you know it's over 
it's over. Because, again, you know, this has been a very um, transformative uh, time period for myself. And I'm sure for a lot of you as well. Um, and a lot of, you know, I feel like I feel like a, a lot of a lot of us, I'm going to say us, but but I can speak from my 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 experiences is that I've waited. I've, I've been waiting. Not well. Yeah. And I have I've, I have waited on certain answers just to release me from uh, the stronghold of generational curses or things that were left unsaid questions that I don't have answers for. I've waited for answers uh, in a very particular way. And the universe doesn't always deliver things like that. So the universe will deliver answers how we need them. And the universe will deliver answers when we're ready for them as well. But that doesn't mean that we have to stop. You know, it doesn't mean that we have to put things on pause. And I'm learning that, you know, uh, especially when it comes to moving forward. So what am I getting from this here? I won't cry for you. Don't feel bad about closing out cycles or creating closure for yourself. We don't need people for closure. Okay, we definitely don't. Uh, most times often than not, we wait on people to give us closure and we never get it because it's because, you know, the, so the, the other party may may not want to close the may not want to give you closure because they want to still hold on to you. There's that energetic exchange, that that spiritual cord. Um, and so maybe, you know, uh, work on some cord cuttings. tonight. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But you got to close out cycles. You got to wipe a slate clean. So you got to wipe your plate clean so you can get a new a new serving of food. So that's just that's 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 a metaphor or, or you know symbolizes uh, clearing out space to receive manifestations that that you are wanting things that you are wanting in your life. Okay. I no, nah, I'm sitting I'm sitting here like maybe I should just go lay back down. <laughs> But no, I was I was called to get up and do this here, so I won't cry for you here. I I've been feeling a very a very big presence of um, I just heard cataclysmic endings. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Tower moments is what I'm hearing. Okay, tower moments. So don't cry for these people. Ooh. La impress, uh, impress in reverse. I'm not even going to try it right now. Libra Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. It's in the reverse. So there's a feminine energy. The Empress energy does represent a mother. Okay. Your mother could be an Aries. An Aries mother could be an Aries uh, divine feminine in the reverse. So we're talking about a karmic feminine energy here. A mother or, or just a, well, let's not say mother. Let's just say divine feminine. Okay, we'll see what the cards have to say here. Um, it could be your mother, though. Your mother could be an Aries. Or uh, there's a leap of faith that an empress energy is about to take. Okay? A, a karmic empress energy. A karmic divine feminine. This could also be a false, a, 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 fake, a fake empress. It's about to take a leap. So let's just see what's going on here. All right? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and select the all options so that you know all of my uploads upload. You feel me? Tell us about this uh, El Loco. <laughs> okay, crazy ass emperor. I mean, that's what loco means. The crazy one, the fool. Uh, so somebody, she, uh, an, imp an empress energy in the reverse could be about to be do, about to do something really stupid, but they're about to take a risk here. Whatever this empress energy is, it doesn't have to be an Aries. But there's about to be a risk taken here. Let's see. What are we going to use here? Tell us about this risk. That this uh, distorted feminine energy is about to take. Male or female. Apply the roses they fit. Tell us about this risk. That this empress energy... Then the reverse is going to take. Okay. Mm. 
Hmm. Six of Swords here to the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's trying to. Three of Cups. So with that, um, the Six of Swords here, I feel like somebody's trying to get away from something here. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse can talk about uh, hatred. Okay, it can talk about a a, a a big cup of a big cup of hatred, or somebody's pouring something out. Um, I feel like I feel like I feel like because the Ace of Cups confirmation. The Ace of Cups can talk about um, a, 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 the, the divine's love, God's love. And I really kind of feel like somebody has abandoned that and they're moving away from that. OK, so somebody could really be in some very hateful energy right now. Uh, they're about to take a risk, though, here with the three of cups here to the, the knight of cups to the nine of wands. What is this? Two of pentacles. Two of cups, two, two. All right. To the higher fun in the reverse. Somebody's gone to the dark side, baby. Somebody has gone to the dark side. The higher fun in the reverse here. This person with the three of cups here to the knight of cups to the nine of wands. I feel like somebody's going towards a, a group of friends here uh, looking for some type of protection with the nine of wands here. But these friends are not going to help this person. Nope, not at all. Uh, because they realize that this person, because these three friends are in the upright. So these are people that this person has uh, celebrated with. Good friends. You know, people that they could kick it with. There are three women here. So this person could be going to, I don't know. Wow. I just heard, <laughs> I just heard that this person is going to towards, you know, like at the end of the craft, when the girls came back, was her name? Nancy was the crazy one, but the, but the, but the real witch. When they went to go to her and go, hey, you guys want to you want to maybe go call in the call in the elements or whatever the hell they said, and they were like, no, Our, the offer is rejected. These people are heavily guarded against this empress energy. They no longer want to deal with this person anymore. Okay, they're trying to find a sense of balance. This person has created a lot of balance with these people. Okay, this person could also this person could have gone back to like a hierophant group in the reverse as well. Yeah, lied. Oh, there, there's a lie here. Let's just say, for instance, that this Empress energy with this Three of Cups, because they are in the upright. So maybe this is like a, a high vibing group. Uh, maybe this person is coming back, took or is taking a risk to go back towards a high vibing group. They, this, this Empress energy, I'm really feeling like needs protection. Or these people are just very heavily guarded against this Knight of Cups energy in the reverse. The Knight of Cups energy in the reverse is somebody that's very kind of uh, in disingenuous. Coming with a, like a, a, a fake offer or somebody came back, maybe not apologetic. This person is very low vibrational here. That I feel I feel like this group of people knows that this person is lying about their affiliation possibly with some low low vibrational people. Yeah, I'm telling you here. They don't want they don't want any parts of her or him. Him or her, take the energy as it resonates, but this person it took is it has gone back to a group of friends and they're like a group of friends, I don't know if it could be family, but the 3 of cups generally talks about friends this person is they're no longer they don't want they don't want any parts of this low vibrational bullshit they don't want this there's a lot of illusions here a lot of lies okay so they're they're heavily guarded against this person they know they don't even this they don't want to be friends with this person these this, this group of people is looking for some type of balance away from this false empress energy this aries i believe this is an aries but I did hear this person is looking for some type of protection here. They're looking for to looking to take cover. So with um, let's see, but it also just talks about taking a risk here. Aries could be significant; doesn't have to be. But this person is taking a risk here. Tell me what else you want to know here. I think this is the the hangman. Yeah, these people have become enlightened to what? What have they? 
What have they come in, become enlightened to about this Empress energy? This distorted feminine energy. I can't make it up. They, be, they, they, they become enlightened about something about this Empress energy. And she's in the upright here, but that just signifies the fact that we're talking about this divine feminine here. Confirmation. Yeah, I'm telling you again, we got this Hierophant group, Hierophant in the reverse to this to this this world card. I feel like these people find, found out that this person is very low vibrational, belongs to some really kind of Hierophant group here. They closed this cycle out fast when they found this out, when they became enlightened about this, this Empress's affiliation. And I mean fast. They took some, listen, they took some fast action. They didn't waste any time. One, one, one on the clock. Again, five, five. This person was hiding the fact that they were involved with a, with a, with a secret society or some type of coven, a group of people, a, a very low vibrational group of people, a group of people that, that liked to, that are bullies, a group of bullies. Now this person is in regret. We got five five here for this higher. This person is ending. It's a, I feel like I feel like this person is probably not even a part of this hierophant group, which is the reason why she came back to her original friends. Yeah, because this came. I can't make it up. The secret came out. The secret came out about what this person was doing with the group of people. This low vibrational ass group of bullies. So no, they don't want to. These people are not happy with this person. Oh, and an emperor too. There's an emperor in the. I told you Aries. This empress was again. Are we still talking about this bitch? So this, so so this same empress energy that I discussed a little uh, was it earlier or was it yesterday? That was the head of this group. Now wants to come back to her for old friends and like, hey, what are you guys doing? And they're like, nah, bitch, no. They are they they already know they're not very happy with this. They already know that this person was the leader, the Aries. I told you, Aries, the emperor, emperor, empress energy. This divine feminine energy was the head of this, <laughs> these bullies. <laughs> so now she's going back to her friends like, I ain't do nothing. And the friends are like, girl, we done all, we already heard. We already heard what you did. And no, we don't want to be friends with your dumb ass no more. So she's, so I, I really, I heard that she's going back to look for some type of protection. I, I feel like this, I feel like this Empress energy is all out. She's like, out, she's alone. She's alone. Alone. The hermit. She's alone. Clarify clarify what else is going on here. Okay. She could be she could be trying to get away from the police. The police could be hot on that tail. Okay? Some official people, if not the police. She could I'm telling you, this person is running for this person is trying to find a safe place. I heard a safe place to be. Or or some safe people to be around. I don't know. But this person was a this gang stalking. Temperance in the reverse to the will of fortune. I'm telling. I'm trying to tell you here. This is a huge. This this empress in the reverse is suffering a very huge imbalance. Okay, she's at the bottom of the will of fortune. She's trying to run away from what's faded. Okay, time's up. I just heard. She's trying to find protection for what's about to happen. Like, I just heard that these people don't want to be involved with her because they don't want to be a part of the karma. The will of fortune in the reverse here. Yeah, I'm, t I'm trying to take. They they dropped it with the with the, it with the quickness. Dropped it with. They do not. <laughs> nobody wants to deal with this person because they this person has too much baggage. They. I'm telling you that they these people everywhere she's going is what I'm hearing. Nobody wants to be bothered with this feminine energy, male or female. Somebody could be a Sagittarius as well. In the reverse, this Empress energy could be. Or this could just really mean that this person, the temperance in the, this person, this person is very. It's 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 a it's a shame though. Yeah, five I can't make it up. Five of Cups. This person is in some serious regret about whatever they did. They are. 
uh, I am picking up on the fact that this person really, really feels bad, but they don't have anywhere to go. This is the untold story card. This person took some money from a king of wands and they're pissed. Or they owe somebody some money. Ten of, ten of Pentacles in the reverse to the king of wands to the nine of cups here. This person is trying to get away from a very, very unhappy king of wands. And that's what they're not telling some people here, okay? Was this the same person that we talked to? Oh, I didn't I didn't upload the reading. I don't think I did, though. I, I, I think I told you guys about it. It was okay. So basically, what we have here, what I what I picked up on the other day, and I just it was just a lot of downloads coming through, and it was just really kind of weird and icky. So I just I scrapped them. But there was a there was a there was a empress, a, a, a high priestess empress and two other people that had gone missing. But like they they were running like they it was I don't know if it was like I don't know they were hiding they were hiding from somebody that they owed a lot of money to yeah and she was the lead this person is a high priestess this person divinates I feel like this person's probably in spiritual jail. Yeah, this person's trying to get away from some type of smoke. They don't want the smoke no more. They owe somebody some money. A king of wands. So now she's running. Okay, so I feel like I feel like these these this person is running back to their old friends, trying to find a place. I told you protection. They're trying to find some protection because they owe somebody some money or owe, or they're indebted to somebody. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, they either owe somebody some money or they stole a lot of money from a King of Wands here. Who's looking for that ass? So this King of Wands, I should have uploaded the message because that it was, hey, where's my money? That guy here, hey, where's my money? You know that that guy here? Let's grab the other deck here. Yeah, this person's trying not, this person's trying not to be found. They don't want nobody seeing them. This person probably is not on social media anymore. Uh, whether that's, you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, okay? This person is this person is incognito. Incognito. This person is incognito. This person does not want anybody finding this. This person doesn't want to be seen. This person is hiding. I'm trying to tell you that this person is hiding because there's an untold story. There's something that they're not telling people though. This person is this person is what else is there? Uh, Cuz they already know what's coming. They're not telling people. They're not telling people what's really going on here. I feel like these people uh know that this person was a, they've heard about what her, this person and those other people did this little group of people the hierophant group whatever they did with the five of with the five of swords here that talks about uh you know doing whatever it takes you know bullying people i don't know bullying people punking people stabbing people in the back there's a lot of drama here a lot of fives here okay but she i just heard that you know how people they say that you're like you're too hot you're too hot you're too hot, hot potato. I'm telling you, they've been dropping it. They, they, nobody wants to be bothered because they know that this person is too hot. Okay, this person is going to bring some type of imbalance to their situation. They don't want to be bothered. This person is walking around with the will of fortune in the reverse over their head. So it's kind of like this person has been marked. Okay, this person has. I got out the bed for this. <laughs> this person is marked. Has been marked. Yeah, the, 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 these friends, these friends have become very enlightened about what this empress in the reverse is really about. Okay, this person is a mother, not your mother, but this person is a mother. Okay, an Aries mother is what I heard. A very low vibrational Aries mother. She owes somebody a lot of money, and she's trying to get away from that. The Nine of Cups here. Clarify the Nine of Cups to the full. Selfish, a selfish Aries. Very selfish here. I got that. That's it. I, I can't make it up. Higher find in the reverse. The leader of this, the leader of these people trying to avoid going to jail. 
trying to avoid going to jail and avoid that. This could be spiritual jail because we got the eight of wands right there um, in the reverse. Five of swords. This person, I'm telling you, this person is not, this person could is facing something very serious here. They got somebody looking for her to get her ass back. Okay, payback is what I heard, especially with the eight of wands here. This person, no, this person is walking karma, bad karma. So don't nobody want to be bothered, especially if this person is a high priestess. Because and, 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 you, you know damn well if this person is a high priestess, these three of cups people probably divinate as well. They already know. Enlightened about this Empress energy, okay? This person's trying to avoid capture. Whether that be from the police, uh, whether that be from this uh, King of Wands that's looking for that ass. Yeah, confirmation. This person is trying to avoid being captured. The Nine of Cups talks about somebody that's this person. This person. This person was very happy. Okay, this person was very happy running this group. Okay, she really was. You know how people. You know sometimes people they get up. They you know they become they get to a higher font level. They think they are anyways. They get a group of people that that follow them. But you know do whatever they say. And then when shit hits the fan, nobody wants to. They know nobody wants to be the boss no more. Nobody wants to be the head of a group anymore. I feel like this person is running around like scared as hell. Eight of Wands again, because the karma is coming. This person's trying to run away from run, trying to. <laughs> this person's trying to outsmart karma. I'm almost done here. I got out of bed for this. Yeah. High Priestess, I told you, High Refined High Priestess. The, the, this this lady okay doing dark magic magic backfire I can't make this shit up this person is running from whatever kind of magic they were doing seven seven of pentacles they was doing this shit for a very they planted some very bad magical seeds jack and the beanstalk kind of energy okay that giant is chasing that ass is what I just heard okay but this person did a lot of planted a lot of bad seeds now this person's been doing a lot of magic for a very long time a lot of dark magic against people Especially with this little low vibrational group of people, this coven. This person is the person is person is a leader of a coven of people that were doing a lot of magic on people. Magic could be manipulation. Magic could be actual magic. A lot of manipulation though, um, and it's coming back to bite her in the ass. And she owes somebody some money. We're keeping that out. Yeah, doing all this dark magic. We got these magic these agreements. Yeah, she. She's, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, listen, the five of cups to the two of cups, she, because she's trying to avoid this ending. I feel like she's crying over spilled milk from, from her about, about these partnerships she's made. She's made some type of partnerships here with that king of wands, I'm telling you, and she owes him some money. You got my money? what I tell you? He, he's uh, listen judgment in the reverse he done already cast the judgment he done already placed this bitch under some heavy judgment okay but you got my money you got my money no time for jokes bitch you got my money you're my pig oh god my baby my baby pig yeah, you got my money <laughs> placed her under heavy judgment here he looking for her. I feel like I feel like this person has said, if you can find her, I'll give you some money. Help me find this person. Four four pinnacles here. I'm looking for her. Mm -hmm. I cannot get over I can never get over this. Listen, you got my money. That four pinnacles here. He's like, he's looking for her. Mm hmm He wants to get his hands on her. He wants to secure her, you know, to get her. Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. look, look at the look in his eyes see that there like kill bill kind of energy trying to find Beatrix kiddo alright so now that we know what this uh, person's doing on the full moon 444 on the clock okay alright so let's get a final message out here final 
final message? What, 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 what's the final message here for the collective? Look at the moon on the front of this card. Like, nah, bitch. We see you. Mm -mm. She looking like, girl. <laughs> it's a wrap. She's going to get caught. Now, this emperor could be um, like a police officer or somebody like a alphabet boy kind of energy. There could be a reward out for this person. I don't know. But this person I feel like has stolen a great deal of money or, 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 or owes a great deal of money or stole a great deal of money here. I feel like she's being she they're looking for her. Either the police I feel like I feel like police are looking for her, but I also feel like there's a king of wands looking for her as well. Mm-hmm. It's kinda like it's kinda like she's she doesn't want to be captured, period though. She doesn't want to go to prison, but she does want to go to jail. Let's just say detained. She does not want the police catching her. She does not want to go to jail. Um, but she also doesn't want to be caught by that king of wands. So I just really kind of feel like, she, you know, pick your poison kind of energy here. Cause but knight of swords here to the moon. She could probably be caught tonight. Mm-hmm. She might be caught tonight on this moon cycle over the next few days. But there's something about... I feel like she snitched. I feel like that's what came out in the reading. Yeah, they all snitched. They all snitched. This also could, could like represent uh, protective custody kind of energy. The moon to the eight of swords here. Protective custody like witness protection or something like that but there's somebody hot on that ass i kind of feel like there's somebody looking for her the knight of swords I, I i don't know it's like somebody's looking for her but i but but I, but what i picked up in the reading the other day so basically there's a there's a high priestess empress that's in charge of that that's been running some type of operation or is in charge of some type of coven or small group of people here right so her and two other men you don't see no more like they just vanished no trace of them they have been i feel like they have been in some type of protective custody um or witness protection something so they were being somebody somebody's been held by the popo all right protective custody i feel like that's what that would be called i don't feel like these people because in witness protection would insist upon the fact that they're helpful so they but i feel like they snitch though on some type of king of wands emperor boss that look that wants their money and so instead of instead of just they don't have the money to pay them this is what came up in the reading they just decided to go tell the police for for some type of safety uh this this person could have left from protective custody I don't know why. Maybe to go get high with some old friends, three of cups. Okay. Somebody could be left where they was at. Protective custody. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a police officer. I don't work for the, the feds down here. I just do the galactic fed up there. But, you know, a lot of times what they do is what they keep people at like hotels or something like that. Uh, it's a gray hair. They don't, uh, don't they watch them there? I don't know. I kind of feel like this person took a risk. Like they left. They left. They left. They left. They can't be found. This person. I feel like this person probably trying to go be somewhere. Go get. Go get high with the three of cups here. They're too hot. Nobody. Nobody wants to be bothered with this person. Okay. Hold on, real quick. There might be a booger in my nose. One second. It was a small visitor. <laughs> yeah, they probably. She probably. Either way it goes. Even. I. I do feel like this person is trying to evade capture. Capture from the police and capture from somebody that they owe money to. I feel like this person could also be very scared as well with the moon here. Yeah, they're scared. I'm telling you, somebody is the police is on that ass. They're looking for her. Somebody's some they, they are looking for somebody. The police are trying to find somebody. Somebody could be on the run. They're gonna get caught though. Six of wands, seven of swords, and both of them in the reverse. They're gonna get caught. They're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught. Final message, and then we're gonna close it out. Final message. Oh, three cards came out. 
what did, the, did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Uh, this king, this king of wands, she owes that king of wands some money here. Nine of swords to the king, to the, she's trying to get out of, she's trying to get, she's trying to get away from that. Nine of swords to the king, to the ten of pentacles from this king of wands. She owes a king of wands some money. Mm-hmm. I told you that. What did I say? Ba, 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 ba. Ah. Okay. She owes him some money. And uh, I feel like the police are going to get this card's turned over. What is this? The Knight of Wands here. What about this Knight of Wands here? She could have kids with this person. Knight of Wands. Or she was or she, or he's been he was banging her. Or he's pissed off. Knight of Wands in the reverse. About this money, passionate pursuit. He's been looking for her because he she owes him a lot of money. Three of Swords because she betrayed him. I'm telling you, the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles because she was working against him. Spirit says that's the truth. Okay. I feel like the police are gonna catch her. Mm -hmm. The police are gonna catch her. Oh, we she did something very kind of dirty to this person. Three of Pentacles here. She was working with that King of Wands, that Knight of Wands, that King of Wands here. King of Wands, Knight of Wands. It could be two people. This Knight of Wands, I'm telling you, has been looking for her. That's probably who's been looking for her for on behalf of this King of Wands. Five of Pentacles here. I'm telling you, they no, they want their money. All right, let's get a um Final message out here from uh, the Santa Morte deck. Santissima Morte. I don't ever say that right. So excuse my Spanish. I don't mean to butcher it up for anybody. 2.11 on the clock here. 9.29 p.m. Mm, I'm telling you. The, uh, the, the star in the reverse. It ain't looking too good for this chick. I feel like the police are going to get her. To, oh, wow. The El Diablo. She owes. She's this person is no longer this person is belongs to the devil. Okay, this is a fallen angel. Whoever this feminine energy is, is, is a fallen angel. She belongs to the devil now. That's probably who she really owes. By proxy, this king of wands. That's the end of this message. I guess that's it for me. I'm your uncle seven nine, the spiritual savage. I got out the bed for this. I'm closing out this reading. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? Uh, everybody have a great and wonderful restful sleep. And I'll see you in the right this next rising. I love you. Take care. Deuces.